In this video, I am going to talk about more ways and tips to be more confident in speaking the English language. But this time, I'm going to focus on fluency. Hi there, Ninja! Welcome back to my channel. I'm Rhea and you're still watching Call Center Ninja, sharing with you real stories and tips to enjoy and survive your call center lifestyle. So, if you're new here, please consider subscribing by clicking the red subscribe button on YouTube down below. Being fluent means that you are able to articulate and express yourself easily. For example, in the English language, if you have a good command of the English language or you're fluent in English, that means that you're able to speak the language with ease and you're able to articulate your thoughts and opinions in English. In my previous video, I talked about several ways on how to improve your English communication skills. But this time, we would want to focus on being more fluent and confident in speaking the English language. Tip number one is to have a proper mindset. So you really have to think that English is really as it is. Somehow, we can say that English is a weird language because of so many rules, so many exemptions or is it exceptions and that is why i say that english is weird because uh, the differences in spelling pronunciation uh, there are so many things that are confusing about it for example if you say read which is r-e-a-d read can be present tense can also be past tense so when you say read in past tense, you have to say it as read, like I have read, but the spelling is still the same, which is R-E-A-D. And another example is human. The plural form is humans, right? And not human. But when you say man, the plural form is men. So it can be quite confusing. So the point of this is to Put it in your head that English is really a language that has a lot of rules. When you have that in your head, then you'll be able to accept the different technicalities and complexities and the beauty of the English language. Tip number two is deep dive. And when I say deep dive, it means that you have to practice for long hours. When you're applying for a call center job or when you're already in that kind of industry, then you probably won't have so much time to practice the English language because you're already starting your job. However, if you think that you, you're really struggling and you need it to get hired for a call center job, then I suggest that you really have to deep dive or not just to practice for 15 minutes a day, but really to practice speaking in English for the entire day or even practice speaking with someone for long hours. So practicing for 15 minutes might not, might not cut it anymore. And you really have to give it a serious thought so that you'll be able to build your confidence in the English language. Tip number three is to start thinking of yourself as a native speaker. Well, you might not be a native speaker or it might not be, English might not be your first language, but it doesn't hurt to start thinking about it. Just like what people say, when you start thinking about it, it becomes it, or it becomes that thing. So when you start thinking of yourself as, okay, I'm an English native speaker and I have to be like this, I have to speak like an English native speaker, even though you don't exactly speak like an English native speaker, just put it in your head. Just start thinking that you uh, are a native speaker so that it becomes um, it becomes part of your lifestyle and when it becomes part of your lifestyle, it becomes easier for you to, to apply it in your day-to-day -day life as well as in your job. Tip number five is to practice talking with yourself in front of a mirror or have this kind of exercise, the mirror exercise wherein when you speak, have a mirror ready in front of you and that will help you see how your mouth moves when you are speaking. So how your mouth moves when you're speaking actually affects the way you pronounce words or the way you say the words. So when you have a mirror in front of you, then watch how your mouth 
moves, what are the things that your mouth does when you when you speak or when you say a certain word and maybe that is the cause of mispronunciation so if you speak try to open your mouth as wide as you can so that you will be able to enunciate the words properly and you'll be able to uh, express yourself more in a confident manner when you speak like this Hi, my name is Treya, and you're still watching Pasta Indonesia. And please subscribe to my YouTube channel. So your my mouth is barely moving, or my mouth is barely opening, right? And when that happens, I don't sound confident at all. I don't sound fluent. I don't sound like someone who can easily express myself in the English language. So when you speak, look at yourself in the mirror and. Um, look at the things that you can improve with the way your mouth moves. And do that exercise every day and you'll get used to it. Tip number six is to focus on fluency and not grammar. You can do an exercise, an English exercise every day, let's say for 15 minutes and set a topic that you like or have someone set a topic and talk about it straight for 15 minutes. When I was in high school, I joined our debate team and that's one of the best practices that we do we practice speaking in let's just say 15 minutes or 20 minutes straight about a certain topic so that we'll get used to expressing ourselves easily using the english language so we can do that exercise every day as well and don't stop just because you can't do it anymore or don't stop just because you don't know what to say anymore just try to think focus on thinking and what you can say about that topic. And of course, you have to say it in English. Sometimes you get so conscious about your grammar or pronunciation, that's totally understandable. But for once, just don't worry too much about it. Just focus on your fluency or your ability to express yourself easily using the English language. And last but not the least, tip number seven, would you believe it? You have to practice singing English songs yes start practicing or you know it might not be a practice for you it might be something that you can do as a pastime or as a hobby so you can sing i was dying inside to hold you i couldn't believe what i felt for you dying inside i was dying inside but i couldn't bring myself to touch you right so i did not mean to have a concert right there but i just want to make a point singing english songs is probably one of the easiest ways to become more fluent and confident in the english language we all know that we can enjoy any certain song without even understanding the lyrics but when you start to pay attention and really understand the lyrics of that english song the words communicate with you in a whole new level and that's when you start learning about the language that's when you start to appreciate the language and you'll get to apply it in your day-to-day -day life so when you sing an english song start to really pay attention on what the song says how the song communicates itself to you as a listener and as a singer um, aside from that, you also get to practice your pronunciation because you get to observe how the, the singer sings or how the singer says it. And because lyrics are something that you don't easily forget, you get to repeat the lyrics a thousand times in your head to repeat it every single day. So you will really remember what the song says to you. So when you start to pay attention, um, that's when you start to appreciate the English language. And remember that every single step that you take or you make to practice speaking English or to make an effort to be confident and fluent in speaking the English language, it's already a big step towards being more comfortable and confident in speaking the English language. And that's about it for today. Thank you so much for watching and for listening. I hope you've learned something from this video. If you haven't yet, please go ahead and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Just click the red subscribe button on YouTube down below. Or if you're watching this on Facebook, I will 
will also link my YouTube channel as well. If you have any comments or topic suggestions, then please don't hesitate to comment them down and I will definitely consider those. Thank you so much again and